Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here a warm welcome to you. Well in this video I'm going to talk about the most long-lasting niche fragrances in my collection. I have so many fragrances so I decided to split this video into two. So in this video I'm going to show you the most long-lasting, like super long-lasting, I'm talking 10 plus hours, niche fragrances in my collection and I'm going to do a part two about all about the design of fragrances that are 10 plus hours long lasting, like the longest lasting. So if you want to see what are my longest lasting fragrances in my 400 plus perfume collection, just keep watching. It's so good to be back home, you guys. I was in San Francisco for a week, almost a week, five days, for a work thing, for a conference. Yeah, it was super long and super tiring. It's the kind of thing where you work, you know, you do it, you're at the conference all day and then after that you have to socialize. There's social hours, networking events, and then there are fancy dinners in super fancy restaurants all the way until 11 o'clock at night. So your days are long, like from, you know, five in the morning all the way until midnight. So that's the kind of week that I've had. And I can't tell you how glad I am to be back home with my beautiful family. But I didn't let my channel go idle. I pre-recorded two videos for you all. So I hope you check them out. One was perfume, you know, the Sunday one was a perfume haul and I also had a, a bag and designer shoes haul for you guys that went out on Thursday. So if you missed those videos, go check them out. In this video, as I said, I'm going to show you the most long lasting niche fragrances in my collection. By long lasting, I don't mean six hours. You know, usually you get about five to six hours from a good fragrance that is that doesn't suck, you know? Like a fragrance that is good usually lasts five to six hours. That's really about the longevity that you should expect from really any fragrance. But the fragrances I am going to show you today, these fragrances last like 10 plus hours going on 12 hours. I mean, these are the type of fragrances that if you spray them on clothes, they, they will last on your clothes until you wash them and sometimes after you wash them. Yes, yes, they are super, super, super long lasting fragrances. So without further ado, let me show you what they are. So you guys, I wanna start the video with the most beautiful, most exclusive, amazing, super strong, potent fragrance in my collection that lasts forever. It'll last on your skin until you wash yourself and it'll last on your clothes until you wash them and even after you wash them. It's that potent. This one is the most cherished fragrance in my collection. One, because my husband gave it to me on Valentine's Day too because it actually is a very special exclusive fragrance from the most prestigious fragrance house. It's none other than Kriegler Pleasure Gardenia 79 Edition Precious. You guys, this one, ah, uh, look at this palm. Oh, this makes me feel so glamorous. I don't wanna spray it on. Of course, it's like gold, you guys. I mean, this projects so much. It's emitting from around the neck of the bottle here and the atomizer, and I can smell it over here. That's how potent this fragrance is. And boy, you guys, really with this squeezy thing here, you just once, twice, that's it. Do not overspray this one. It's just, it just projects to the other end of the room and it'll last all night like till the morning until you wash yourself it'll be on your skin and it'll be on your clothes until you wash them 
even after you'll smell it on your clothes. It's a super potent fragrance. This is of course a gorgeous gardenia fragrance with other white florals in it, but it's a very sexy, very sort of sensual, very sophisticated smelling fragrance. It's a very romantic floral fragrance. It was created by Albert Kriegler in 1879 for his fiance, especially it's a, it's a very exclusive um, fragrance that he created for his fiance. Um, so if you think about it, when I wear this fragrance, I'm wearing a fragrance from the 1800s, you guys. Isn't that something? I mean, it smells so glamorous, very old world, gorgeous, like vintage glamorous, you know, and it smells sexy somehow. It's just amazing. It does not smell dated. It does not smell um, mature. It smells, just smells like vintage glamorous. It's, it's what it smells like. So this is the, like, the special edition. Edition Precieuse means precious edition. So this is actually a high concentrated version of the, the, the regular extra, the parfum. I, look at me calling it regular extra, the parfum. I mean the, the other version, which is like the non-special uh, edition version of Pleasure Gardenia, which is still an extra, the parfum fragrance. Very high concentration. This is even more super concentrated fragrance you guys I'm assuming I don't know for sure but this has got to be like 40% concentration somewhere near there because it's super strong this is actually a special diamond shaped bottle which is not the typical Kriegler bottle as you guys know uh, it was apparently created by like hand created by an Austrian artisan apparently this has gardenia jasmine mimosa vanilla and this has musk in it and there are other fragrance notes in here this is just a very sexy vintage glamorous and sensual fragrance all at, and sophisticated all at the same time I don't think I have something more potent than this in my collection. This is the most potent fragrance and boy does this last forever. And does it project? It's emitting from the neck of the bottle really. Um, it's that sort of fragrance and the sillage is just so sophisticated and very beautiful. This is Kriegler Pleasure Gardenia 79 Edition Precise. I have two from Emmiclaf. These two are super, super long, long, long lasting. When I spray these on, and, and by the way, you only need like a couple of spritz behind your ears, you know, maybe on your like, you know, your arms. That's it. They're not only long lasting, but they're also super projecting perfumes, these two Emmicola fragrances. You probably remember from my other videos, the first one is Emmicola Mont Parfum Cristal. Oh my lord, you guys, this thing. Mm. It is a beast mode, what we call a beast mode fragrance here on YouTube. By that, we usually mean it's super projecting, like a projection monster. It projects super long, super well. And also it lasts long so this is one of those perfumes that has both it's highly super super projecting I mean it projects to like the end of the room it, that it's that kind of fragrance for example I one time I wore this to a um, an evening function I was wearing this in the hallway people in the rooms could smell me from the hallway and this last 10 plus hours on my skin that's on my skin on my clothes it lasts until i wash them and sometimes i can smell them faintly even after washing but especially until i wash them these last on my on my clothes on my skin 10 plus i mean it's super potent one of those very potent super sweet fragrances this is like a super sweet rose, vanilla, ambery, caramelly fragrance. 
there are some spices in here that are like warm spices i think i think there's cinnamon and there's pink pepper in here this has that gorgeous like rose vanilla combo that makes fragrances smell so so captivating very feminine this fragrance uh, this also has toffee with that caramel vibes this has a large dose of amber as you can probably tell by the juice and musk which makes it sexy uh, this fragrance you guys it's just super 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 long lasting i'm not sure which one of the the ingredients in here make it last long but i think it's the combination of the composition there's no patchouli in here i don't smell any patchouli there's no earthiness to this at all usually patchouli contributes to longevity of fragrances but this one lasts like so potently i think it's that amber with that resinous vibe you know um that may be what it is really long lasting amazing beautiful fragrance if you want like a sure thing you want something that people can smell and if you want something you don't have to respray like you're getting, going to an important you know function and you don't want to have to respray you don't want to bother you don't want to bring a decant here's the one for you this thing will last you until you come home after a long day of something like all evening party having partied all night long you come home and Five o'clock in the morning, this will still be on you. This one is M. Mikulov Mont Parfum Cristal. So this one is just like her cousin there. This one, same thing with the projection, sillage, longevity. These two, and Mont Parfum Cristal and Mont Parfum, both last so, so long, 10 plus hours, 12 hours on my skin on clothes until I wash them. Sillage is amazing. It leaves an intoxicating trail, uh, amazing sillage. And also it projects like crazy. Now this one is a little different from that one. These are both super, super, super sweet. They both have those like caramelly gourmet vibes, but this one's main difference between that and this is that this one has a massive dose of patchouli. So you can smell that patchouli, but the patchouli though, you guys, like sometimes in fragrances when you, you know, when you have like gourmet notes in fragrances and you add patchouli, that patchouli actually smells edible too, you know? So that's kind of what happened in here uh, with, the, with the caramel accord in here that patchouli just smells very like almost edible, not super earthy in your face kind of patchouli, you know? It's a very kind of edible, beautiful patchouli that just adds to the longevity of this fragrance. It's also like, you know, woody. It's got a little bit of muskiness to it. It's a little fruity. I know this one is the one that has passion fruit in it, which ooh, is delicious. I love a tropical fruits like passion fruit when they're in fragrances. This has a large, large dose of caramel with the caramel accord. There's, of course, that big dose of patchouli in here. There are some white florals, I think orange blossom or African orange flower, something like that. And then of course it has a large dose of like vanilla. Um, this I think might be vetiver too that adds to that earthiness. Yeah, this one is a little bit earthy, but in a very good way. This also forever lasts on my skin forever, like 10 plus hours and on my clothes until I wash my clothes it's on my clothes this is the same way people can smell me like miles away and this is one of those fragrances that i don't have to carry a decant of i don't have to respray it if i spray this like in early afternoon going to like a a function or something until i come home it's on me until i shower it's on me it'll last forever um, this is one fragrance that I can smell in the morning, you know, even after showering. It's that kind of fragrance. Very, 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 very potent. Um, lasts for a very, very long time. You don't have to respray it. Yeah, this is M. Mikulov Mont Parfum. So the next one is from Zerjaf. This is one of the longest lasting fragrances I have ever, ever had in my collection. This one is a super 
duper beast mode fragrance i mean this is again not only long lasting but it projects and it leaves an intoxicating trail very strong fragrance this one is a Zerjoff muse you guys this has a leather cord in it that makes this fragrance so sexy this has some beautiful fruity notes oh so intox like i can smell it over here over here i mean it just projects like monster too oh that leather cord makes this fragrance so so sexy mm. this is a fruity fragrance but it's not fruity in the way you usually expect a fragrance to be fruity this one is a, a very like deep sultry sort of sexy potent fragrance not fruity like summery fruity juicy fruity none of that it's not that at all this is a very serious very potent intoxicating long lasting fragrance with that leather accord in it leather as you know is one of those fragrance notes that make fragrances last long it contributes to the longevity of the fragrance that's what happened in here Ah, super long lasting fragrance, super, super long lasting fragrance. This is very sweet. This is super ambery. It's a super ambery fragrance. Um, it's fruity. It's got that leather in it. It's got some spices. It's got patchouli. It's a little bit animalic from some of the white florals in here. It's a little balsamic. This has some juicy fruity notes like plum and raspberry. This has white florals, a lot of white florals. This has that leather, like I said, and labdanum, which is another fragrance notes that has kind of like leather nuances. There's Davana, which is like one of the sexiest, most, um, uh, how can I say, like very potent herbal notes that is actually very sexy don't be taken aback by the word herbal this is a very sultry herbal note that adds, adds to sexiness of fragrances in my opinion also to longevity i mean it's got that huge dose of amber and benzoin which adds to that sweetness of this fragrance because benzoin is a resin that smells like vanilla um super potent potent fragrance it's one of the most potent fragrances in my collection lasts for like 12 plus hours on my skin lasts forever on my clothes until i wash them and i can even smell it after i wash my clothes it's that long lasting it's definitely not a fragrance you need to overspray this is zerjoff muse i have another woody ember fragrance from zerjoff in my hands that lasts forever this one is zerjoff overture Ooh, super potent, super long lasting, very balsamic. This has got some white florals like magnolia, jasmine, there's ylang ylang for a yellow floral, there's rose, there's sandalwood with that gorgeous creamy woody sensual touch. This has incense which adds to that sort of balsam vibes. There's obviously balsamic notes in here. Uh, I'm thinking like it could be myrrh i feel like i smell myrrh in here although they have not listed it uh, it has that sort of incense oriental vibes like myrrh i mean i know there's incense in here too but this is very balsamic so i'm guessing there's myrrh in here it's got a huge dose of like amber i know there's like a little green hint from like fig leaf in here some citruses like maybe mandarin orange like it's like one of those fragrances that is like super oriental, a little bit smoky, a little balsamic. It's got the gorgeous florals, uh, underlying like floral nuances that comes through, but it lasts for a very long time on my skin, like close to 10 hours. And you know, it's on my clothes for a very, very long time. Quite balsamic, ambery, oriental, kind of smoky fragrance. Don't need to respray this one either. This is Zerjaf Overture. The next fragrance I have in my hand is an Extrait de Parfum. So it's no wonder that this one lasts forever. Extrait de Parfum, as you know, is the highest oil concentration you can get in a perfume um, extrait version. Um, it's usually over 25% oil concentration usually about 30 percent oil concentration so no wonder this lasts forever and ever 
and ever on my skin and clothes. I can't speak to the regular version, the Eau de Parfum version, which I don't have. What I have is the Extrait de Parfum, so I can speak to this. This one lasts like 12 hours on my skin and on my clothes until I wash them. It's there. I never, ever, ever have to respray this. Siage is amazing. People can smell it. It's got good projection. This is none other than Maison Francis Kirchian Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. You guys, this one is a very kind of um, spellbinding fragrance. Very, very dark and mysterious and very, very sexy, very sultry fragrance. I talk about this fragrance all the time on my channel. Like I said, this is like a fragrance for like a baddie or, you know, like a like an, a villain, a sexy villain from a movie, you know, not just regular villain, but a sexy, gorgeous, sultry villain, you know, that type of fragrance, kind of like a black video of a fragrance. It has that darkness to it. This has that oud rose combination, which makes it dark and, you know, sultry um, but then there's that massive dose of vanilla in here that adds to this fragrance that femininity that sweetness then there's violet which adds it uh, this gorgeous sort of uh, powdery delicateness uh, to this fragrance sophistication if you will uh, I don't know what it said about this fragrance I think it has to do with the type of high quality oud that's in here that makes this fragrance last super long i know this also has a little bit of cinnamon with with that warmth you know as well um this is one of those fragrances that just lasts forever and ever and ever and people can smell you i mean this emits from the skin like you can smell this several feet away great projection great intoxicating sillage and lasts forever about 10 plus hours going on 12 on my skin this lasts on my clothes like forever until I wash them and even after I wash them you can faintly smell it on the clothes. This is an obviously a high quality Maison Francis Cajun fragrance. By the way you can get any Maison Francis Cajun fragrance including this on Twisted Lily website. I have a 10% discount code for you guys down in the description box. If you want to get a hold of a Maison Francis Cajun that's the best discount you will ever get because even on discount websites, they're not cheap. In fact, discount websites we usually like to shop on, these tend to be more expensive than the original price for some reason, I don't get it. But yeah, if you want to get a hold of these, they actually, Twisted Lily has even 30 ml small bottles too, which are amazing to have so you can test them out, you know. There are so many of the, the like they have like all of the Maison Francisca Jean fragrances and like body lotions, you know, shower gels, everything, what have you. Um, if you want, check down in the description box. This one is one of the most long lasting, intoxicating fragrance in my collection. I will never be without it in my collection. This is Maison Francisca Jean Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. So the next one is from Fuegance du Bois. This one is a super potent fragrance as well. This also does have leather in it, which contributes to the longevity of this fragrance, if you ask me. This one is super beast mode. This is one of those fragrances that you can't even get off even after washing. Like you can wash it several times and it'll still be on your clothes. This is none other than Fragrance du Bois Siberian Rose. Oh, this one is a beast. This is not just long lasting, but also has amazing projection and sillage as well. Again, this fragrance is one of those um, rose leather fragrances. This has rose and has leather in it. It smells very expensive, very luxurious, and it will last forever on my skin 12 plus hours on my clothes until I wash it after I wash it several times after I wash it you can smell this fragrance I remember receiving this fragrance and spraying it on for the first time I filmed 
um, in the afternoon. I was wearing this fragrance and I went uh, to some kind of, I, I can't remember, I went out somewhere and I came home. That was after filming, I went out wearing this, came home, it was on my skin projecting strongly. My dress was just emitting this fragrance and I remember taking my dress off. It was on the floor waiting to go in the in the hamper. I took a shower. I came out. I remember I could still smell it on my pulse points and then I picked up the dress. I put it um, in the hamper and I remember like later the next day opening up the hamper and smelling this fragrance just emitting from my dress. That was over 24 hours later. And then I put it to wash. It came from the wash and it smelled like it still. Pretty strongly actually. So it's that kind of fragrance. I mean, this lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. It just lasts forever. Yeah, this is, yeah, I smell that leather. I smell the rose faintly. I do smell the rose, but I smell that sort of herbally kind of mossy quality of this fragrance. Again, don't be taken aback when I say mossy, like that, that herbal sort of like mossy, like those type of notes can really add this like amazing sexy quality to fragrances. It's hard to explain. If I'm not mistaken, this also has juniper berries, which is like really nice. It adds that sort of like piney balsam kind of touch to this fragrance, which adds to the sort of like s sexy, like sort of sophisticated, like luxurious leather type vibes in this fragrance. This is very much a fragrance that's super appropriate for colder months, very much a colder months fragrance. Oh, you guys, this one is a very, like I said, very expensive smelling fragrance. I remember once getting a compliment on this, um, like the exact words were, you smell expensive, you smell good. So yeah, this is one of those fragrances and, and, and it's such a bang for the buck because it'll last forever. You know, you don't have to respray just a couple of sprays behind the ears and pulse points on the hands, on the wrists, that's enough. This also has like ylang ylang, um, tuberose, white florals like that. And in the base you get that that moss, but there's a, a good dose of amber in here too and patchouli, which also contribute to the lasting power. Again, very much a fragrance. You do not have to ever respray. One couple of sprays behind the ears. If you want wrists, that's it. It'll last you 12 plus hours. Fragrance de Bois, Siberian Rose. So next I have an Inicio Parfums fragrance in my hands and I only have two Inicio Parfum fragrances so far in my collection and they're both super long lasting. And from everything I hear, almost all of the Inicio Parfums fragrances are super long lasting, super, super long lasting. And yeah, this one is no exception. Um, this one lasts on my skin 10 plus hours clothes until I wash the clothes. This is none other than Inicio Parfums Psychedelic Love. This one is that gorgeous <clears throat> yellow floral, balsamic, powdery, beautiful fragrance that is very, very kind of addictive, like very sort of spellbinding kind of fragrance. You know, there's something kind of addictive spellbinding about this fragrance. My husband loves it. He talked about his favorite fragrances in one of the videos. Um, I think it was the Valentine's Day video. I will link it up here and down in the description box. This is one of his favorites. This is very like spellbinding, you know, very balsamic. This has gorgeous like florals in it, like some yellow florals. It has a lot of amber. There's warm spices in here. It's quite powdery, very, very powdery actually. There's a little smokiness to this fragrance. There's some vanilla. One of my favorite fragrance notes and the oldest fragrance note in the world is in here, myrrh. I love myrrh, there's sandalwood, which makes it even more sensual. Myrrh makes it very kind of oriental smelling. It gives it that sort of incense oriental smell, you know. There's ylang ylang in this fragrance, there's bergamot. There is heliotrope, which makes it very powdery. There's hedion, there's 
rose oh, this is a beautiful fragrance you guys um lasts for a lifetime on my skin like 10 plus hours like i said on my clothes until i wash them Inicio parfums is a good um you know investment if you want to buy fragrances that have all three projection siage longevity yeah this one is great this is Inicio parfums psychedelic love next one is also from Inicio parfums this one is atomic rose boy is it atomic super projecting long lasting fragrance this is that gorgeous rose fragrance with that slight green green note cutting through the fragrance kind of reminds you of uh, Parfums de Marley Dalina with that you know green sour you know note cutting through the rhubarb I don't know if it's rhubarb that's in here but there's something green in this fragrance that kind of cuts through it's very sharp it's kind of like a Parfums de Marley Dalina on steroids in a way they are not exactly similar they kind of you know reminiscent of each other that's all um but this one is such a bomb it is atomic this one lasts forever 10 plus hours on my skin same with clothes long time on my clothes as well this projects super well good sillage um again initial fragrances always always bang for your back this of course has like rose you know other other florals this vanilla there's that green nuance in here it's a little bit smells a little fresh it's a little bit powdery this has like pink pepper hideon there's bulgarian rose and turkish rose in this fragrance and then there's egyptian jasmine there's also a big dose of vanilla and amber i believe really nice composition quite atomic last forever um yeah you can't scrub it off yourself this is Inicio atomic rose next i have a, another fragrance it is from amouage this one is super beast mode potent fragrance there are a couple of fragrance notes in here that contribute to the potency of this fragrance and the lasting power this one lasts for a lifetime on my skin and clothes this one is definitely a gorgeous floral fragrance perfect for cold weather this is none other than amouage blossom love oh this is one of my favorites from the house oh man is it project look at mini i can smell it here i mean this is a beast mode fragrance you know this is like got a lot of uh, florals this huge dose of vanilla there's a booze note in here which I will tell you about in a minute. This is leather, you guys. It's got a lot of um, amber, um, and it has like yellow florals and other florals, beautiful florals. This slight freshness about it, very slightly, but it's a very like potent, sexy, kind of uh, boozy floral fragrance, you know, very strong. So this one has gorgeous florals like heliotrope ylang ylang rose cherry blossom i mean name it gorgeous florals and this has a little hint of bergamot i think in the opening but this one has you guys amaretto oh that's what makes this super potent with those florals it's a boozy floral which is a rare thing to find you know and in the base you guys this fragrance has suede that leather cord from the suede which i think contributes to the longevity of this fragrance i think the boost note contributes to the projection of this fragrance whereas the suede contributes to the lasting power of this fragrance and in the base you know in addition to that suede you get that tonka and vanilla which is always oh, super amazing when you have a big dose of like a big vanilla cord in fragrances and there's also amber which i think also contributes to the longevity of this fragrance when there's amber like fragrances tend to be like very like substantial very deep you know and when fragrances are deep they last long so i really think that uh that amber and the and the suede notes really contribute to the lasting power of this fragrance super long lasting you only need to spray that tiniest bit behind your ears on the wrist maybe and that's it it'll last you forever and if you spray on the clothes make sure to spray on the inside of the clothes 
and it'll last you until you wash the clothes and even after you smell it a little bit on your clothes this is Amouage Blossom Love so that's it you guys those are the strongest most long-lasting fragrances in my collection they are potent they last a long 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 time 10 plus hours most of them over 12 hours on my skin and on clothes you couldn't get rid of it if you wash them you know that sort of fragrance and remember to spray them on the inside of your clothes because of their potency um, these are such a bang for your buck I will be bringing you the designer edition of this long-lasting fragrances video next so stay tuned for that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that red button right there ring the notification bell next to it for all notifications not just some you guys otherwise YouTube will forget to let you know and don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post everything fabulous from both my channels which reminds me go on over to my beauty and makeup channel Cleo Beauty subscribe and watch my videos on makeup and beauty over there as well I will see you guys in my next video.